forgiveness. Now we're ready to forgive. Do this exercise with a partner if you can, or do it out loud if you are alone. Again, sit quietly with your eyes closed and say, the person I need to forgive is, and I forgive you for. The person I need to forgive is, and I forgive you for. And do this over and over. You will have many things to forgive some for, and only one or two to forgive others for. If you have a partner, let them say to you, thank you and I set you free now. If you do not, then imagine the person you are forgiving saying it to you. Do this for at least five or 10 minutes. Search your heart for the injustices you still carry and then let them go. When you have cleared as much as you can for now, turn your attention to yourself and say out loud to yourself, I forgive myself for, and do this for another five minutes or so. These are powerful exercises and good to do at least once a week to clear out any remaining rubbish. Some experiences are easy to let go and some we have to chip away at until suddenly one day they just let go and dissolve. Here's another good exercise. Begin to visualize yourself as a little child of five or six and look deeply into this little child's eyes. See the longing that is there and realize that there is only one thing this little child wants from you and that is love. So reach out your arms and embrace this child. Hold it with love and tenderness. Tell it how much you love it, how much you care. Admire everything about this child and say that it's okay to make mistakes while learning. And promise that you'll always be there no matter what. And then let this little child get very small until it's just the size to fit into your heart. And put it there so whenever you look down, you can see this little face looking up at you and you can give it lots of love. Now visualize your mother as a little girl of four or five, frightened, and looking for love and not knowing where to find it. Reach out your arms and hold this little girl and let her know how much you love her, how much you care. Let her know she can rely on you to always be there, no matter what. And when she quiets down and begins to feel safe, let her get very small, just the size to fit into your heart. Put her there with your own little child and let them give each other lots of love. Now imagine your father is a little boy of three or four, frightened and crying and looking for love. See the tears rolling down his little face as he doesn't know where to turn. You have become good at comforting frightened little children. So reach out your arms and hold his trembling little body. Comfort him. Croon to him. Let him feel how much you love him. Let him feel that you will always be there for him. And when his tears are dry and you feel the love and peace in his little body, let him get very small, just the size 
to fit into your heart. Put him there so those three little children can give each other lots of love and you can love them all. There is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet. But just for now, let us use this love to heal you. Feel a warmth beginning to glow in your heart center, a softness, a gentleness. And let this feeling begin to change the way you think and talk about yourself. 